Welcome back to Open House. Now we're heading to a legendary house in Woodland Hills. The home known as the Van Decker House was built 76 years ago. Reportedly, Clark Gable, John Wayne, and Humphrey Bogart used to hang out there. It's one of the largest private residences built by modernist architect Rudolf Schindler. Now, a few years ago, construction executive Frank Gamwell bought the landmark property and fully restored it in what he says was a true labor of love. Hi, I'm Frank Gamwell, and welcome to my historic home, just renovated here in Woodland Hills, California. This is the Van Decker house, designed for Albert Van Decker, who was a well-known character actor in the 30s and 40s, designed in 1939 by Rudolf Schindler, the master architect and one of the founders of modernism architecture. The house became quite a hangout for a lot of the Hollywood actors of the day. Let's go inside and take a look, because there's a lot more to see. Here in the living room, you come up the main stone staircase and framed with the staircase is the main stone fireplace. The other thing that's great about this is this fantastic two-level geometric beamed ceiling and this amazing bank of windows with distant views of the San Fernando Valley and the mountains. So in this area here, in front of the fireplace, we've kept things very simple. In fact, this whole house is about simplicity. The rock wall is typical of some of the texture that Schindler would bring, as well as the kind of slatted look to the wood walls. One of the challenges we faced was to make this very large volume space feel more intimate. And we did that by breaking this down into really two seating areas. One seating area in front of the fireplace with this very large coffee table. We have the blue which comes from the reference of the stone and the yellow which comes from all over the house. The flooring is a variable width plank which means that every plank is different widths. When you sit in the space you do truly feel with the windows that you are outside all the time. In the background you can see an outside balcony, classic of the outside inside confusion that you get inside the house. Just off the living room is the dining room. Some of the key features here are the built-ins and the furniture, which of course we did in the style of Schindler. As you can see, they're very triangulated and it's a design that he came up with for another house. But it's very simple designs. Everything is made of plywood. In the background, you can see a breakfast balcony that is also on the east side of the building, so you catch the sun rises in the morning. One of the things we have added is a swimming pool with swim jets. One of the things I wanted to do with the swimming pool was to make it fit with the house. And the way I did that was to match the geometry of the windows to the shape of the pool. Off the living room is this media room, which used to be a library. We took this opportunity when we renovated this space to also introduce a Hollywood element. We thought we'd highlight two characters who originally owned the house, Decker the actor and Amber Zerid is the screenwriter. Some of the design elements in here, we've added the cork for acoustics, but otherwise these are the original shelves. And in typical Hollywood fashion, we have the reclining movie seats, we had the red velvet curtains, and we have the movie posters of Bezerides and Decker's films. This is the master bedroom, which is small by today's standards, but has a lot of unique design features, including the same dramatic geometric ceiling, lots of triangulated windows. Here we have a screen, because Albert Van Decker used to watch films on a projector and a projection screen down below. We have amazing bank of windows here that overlook the mountains and the San Fernando Valley. So that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed today's walk through the Van Decker House and looking at a piece of Hollywood history.